The Aviva System Platform 2020 R2 release reflects both customer feedback and an ongoing focus to improve the content-driven user experience. Let's take a brief look at what's new in 2020 R2. New with System Platform and OMI 2020 R2 includes layouts can be linked as asset content. Within the IDE, we now have a link content button that allows you to browse available layouts. In this particular example, we have linked layouts for our web browser and alarm grid. As we navigate the demo, we can see the layout content automatically appearing based on the navigation selection. In this case, a Wikipedia page for Paris and alarm grid for Reactor 31. In our second example, we have a water demo with four filters that we will link a three-part layout to. Once placed within the OMI panes, the layout inherits the navigation selection and the defined layout content will change based on the chosen filter. As we switch to runtime, we can see our navigation selection change the content to each of the filters, 100, 200, 300, and 400, without having to build separate layouts for each. Layouts support owning object. In this example, we start with a two-screen OMI application where we have linked a three-column layout to the bottom pane of the second screen. Each of the three columns will include an independent drop-down box to show a faceplate based on the chosen owning object, which can be defined in the properties or as a simple script in this particular case. As we switch to runtime, we have selected the Midwest region for the navigation. As we proceed to the second screen, we see our three column layout in the bottom pane, each with the drop downs to call a specific object's faceplate, independent of the overall Midwest navigation. This new capability offers increased flexibility for OMI application design. Leverage multiple Galaxy-style libraries. Within the IDE, an option is available to manage Galaxy-style libraries. This configuration panel includes options to import, export, and set a default style. In this short example, we have defined a simple drop-down list to provide selection for all of the defined styles. Switching to runtime, we can choose between the different style options to completely recolor the OMI application to align with any defined color scheme. The possibilities are endless, but possible use cases would be a light and dark mode and a high-performance HMI theme. Role-based navigation model. Furthering the simplified development experience, we can now define navigation access by user role. Within the development environment, user access is easily selected with checkboxes within the properties panel for each navigation option, based on the defined user roles. In runtime, only the navigation tiers allowed by that user's role are visible, with unselected options not appearing. Dynamic external content. This capability allows you to specify external content by building an expression or dynamic reference to discover content based on the context of the application. Layout backgrounds. Continuing the theming features, the properties of the layout allows you to further define the appearance by choosing a background image or color to span the entire layout, including side panels. Alias name as read-only attribute. Alias names are now an attribute for an object, allowing them to be called for expressions, graphics, and other uses. New graphic repeater OMI app. This new OMI app allows you to repeat a specific industrial graphic and feed it with different data sets. These graphics can be sorted based on the data and be interactive, calling up faceplates and other actions. Map OMI app enhancements. This brief update to the Map OMI app enables pan and zoom restrictions for included maps, preventing users from leaving a defined area. In addition, Baidu has been added as a map provider in the configuration. PLC Viewer OMI App Enhancements The PLC Viewer OMI app has added support for Schneider Electric Unity Pro and EcoStructure Control Expert, plus additional PLC languages and viewing options. Web Widgets New with the 2020 R2 release, Web Widgets are placeable functions that allow incorporating web and associated content into OMI applications. Industrial Graphic Cloud Storage. Also new, Aviva Integration Studio has been integrated with the 2020 R2 release to allow sharing and collaboration of industrial graphics between developers and applications. 
subscription-based platform communications that allow for dynamic built communication subscriptions between platforms to reduce traffic and minimize unnecessary inter-platform communication, flex license mode configuration, Aviva Flex Enhancements include a Galaxy License Mode, activating a new Flex Licenses View panel to review license entitlements granted by subscription licensing. And additional licensing improvements that allows the Galaxy repository to continue attempting license acquisition after failing or losing an acquired license. New with Historian and Historian Client 2020R2 includes Simple unit conversion with an historian client and historian client web. Simplified unit conversion has been added to historian client and historian client web. Users now have the ability to select and automatically convert between a predefined catalog of units. Enhanced historian client Excel add-in. The historian client Excel add-in now dynamically refreshes custom functions and offers more detailed data slicing as well as unit conversion, browser-based historical alarm grid. We've also added an alarm grid to historian client web, supporting both the system platform model view and in-touch alarm groups. In addition, data replication across satellite connections with greater optimization and support for high latency networks between historians. New with Communication Drivers 2020 R2 includes Communication Drivers are now installable directly from the installation media. Thank you for taking a quick look at what's new in System Platform 2020 R2.